We're getting towards the end of the year, which means it's time to reassess your health insurance. And if you decide to switch to a different provider, here's everything you need to know about changing health insurance in Switzerland. Just to let you know, in this video I will mainly talk about basic health insurance, but I'll mention the supplementary insurance as well. I'd like to start by answering a question, why switch your health insurance? Picking out a health insurance is a complicated task, and the chances are that when you first moved to Switzerland, you just picked a policy at random. Maybe it was the one that your friend had, or maybe just the cheapest one. Now they have already had your insurance for some time, and maybe you have already used some medical services in Switzerland, you can reassess whether your insurance plan is the best one to suit your needs. By switching, you can potentially save some money and also get a better quality service from your insurance company. And now let's move on to the seven steps of how to change your health insurance in Switzerland. Step one, assess the insurance plan from your current provider. Look at the policy your insurance is offering for next year. Typically, your current insurer will send you the new pricing for your basic insurance by mid to end October. The insurance companies are free to change their pricing, but also you have the right to switch your basic insurance every year if you want to. And in case you're wondering, the amount of claims that you made this year will not directly affect your insurance premium for next year. It's not like with car insurance, if for example you had an accident this year and you made a claim, then you know that next year your insurance price will go up. No, it doesn't work in the same way. However, if overall people in your area this year used more healthcare than the insurance company predicted, then it's quite likely that next year the insurance premium will go up for all of you. Step two, assess your health situation. Think about your health situation in the past year. Are there any ongoing treatments that are likely to carry on into the next year? Are there any follow-up appointments that will happen next year? Add up any upcoming costs that you know of, because this will help you to decide what deductible you should choose for next year. Generally speaking, if you think you will spend less than 2,000 francs in healthcare per year, if you are fit and healthy, if you don't have any medical issues that you you know of, then you should pick the highest deductible for adults that is two and a half thousand francs. However, if you think you might be spending more than two thousand francs on healthcare next year, then you should pick the lowest deductible, which is 300 francs for adults. Increasing your deductible will decrease your premium and the other way around. Step three, check what offers are available from other insurance companies. For this, as always, I would recommend using Comparis.ch. You can easily compare different policies, change between different deductibles and policy models. What's also useful is that once you click on one of the offers, you get more information about the particular insurance company, including their customer satisfaction rating in different categories like communication, service, and value for money. And in case you're wondering how reliable those ratings are, I would say that from our experience with three different health insurance providers, this number is quite accurate at representing how good or bad the quality of service is. Step 4. Sign up for the new insurance. Once you've picked an insurance, you can either request a quote through Comparis and wait for the insurance company to contact you, or what I'd recommend doing instead, go directly to the insurance company's website and fill out the application form there. There's also a third option of going into the insurance company's office and making your application in person. Note that once you get your quote or an offer, the monthly premium might be slightly different to what you saw on Comparis, and I think most of the time is because the insurance company will deduct the environmental fee that you are entitled to and that's why the number might be slightly lower than what you saw before. Whichever way you apply, you will be given or sent a form that you have to sign and return to your insurance company. And only after you have actually signed this paper, you can say that you have indeed applied for your new insurance. Speaking from a personal experience, it can take a week or two to actually get that offer letter that you're supposed to sign from your new insurance company. So if you don't hear from your insurance for a while, make sure you follow it up with them. Once you sign up with a new insurer, they will contact your old insurance company to know notify them of this change. They will also transfer any information about ongoing treatments that you have. And later on, you'll obviously also receive access to your new insurance account and your new insurance card. 
Step 5. Cancel your current insurance. Notify your old insurer that you're leaving them in a signed letter. You can find a cancellation letter form on most health insurance's websites or even on Comparis. You can send this letter directly to your current health insurance. And this bit is super, super important. They have to receive your letter by 30th of November. And it's not the date of your post stamp or anything like that. They have to have it in their office by 30th of November because this is the official deadline for cancelling your basic health insurance. Sometimes the new insurer will let you send the cancellation letter together with the offer they have just signed to them instead of sending it to your old insurance company. But in this case, they're likely to ask you for extra two weeks or even more of notice so that they have enough time to notify your old insurance company. If you have a standard insurance model with the lowest deductible of 300 francs, you have an additional option of cancelling mid-year. In this case, your cancellation letter has to be received with three months of notice, so by 31st of March. You can cancel your basic and supplementary insurances independently from each other. So for example, you can keep your supplementary insurance with your current insurance company, but get a new basic insurance. Step 6. Pay any outstanding bills. Make sure you pay any outstanding premiums or healthcare bills, otherwise you will not be allowed to switch insurances. Step 7. Speak to your new insurance company. Your new basic insurance will start from the 1st of January. After this date, I would recommend calling them to check whether they are aware of any of these ongoing treatments that you have. Even though they say that they normally transfer your medical file from one insurance company to the other, I would still say that it's good to double check whether they have received that information because you don't want to have any issues with the insurance payouts later on. A little note about changing and cancelling your supplementary insurance. Because supplementary insurance is not as strictly regulated as the basic insurance, the insurance companies can basically decide what notice periods to have and what rules to have for changing your supplementary insurance. And often this is three months or more, but make sure you check this with your insurance company if you think you might be wanting to cancel your supplementary insurance at some point. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you ask any questions that you have in the comment section down below, whether it's about health insurance or anything else. Stay happy and healthy and see you in the next video next week. Bye!